This is an important event where countries members of the BRIC have summoned several countries to power all of this funding process of the BRICS to strengthen BRICS cooperation. This block is demanding integration towards the southern countries. For Cuba, it's a great honor to participate in this summit. We had participated in the South Africa summit, represented the 77 group, where uh, at the presidency of this summit, but President of Russia, Vladimir Putin, the head of the BRICS right now, invited Cuba to attend this summit, which means a great honor and important opportunity that Cuba participates in this summit, taking into account the relations Cuba establishes with BRICS and the aspiration of Cuba of being approved as a member of BRICS and the without favorable environment for towards Cuba and BRICS, a country uh, seized by the North American blockade and included in a list of countries sponsored of terrorism, an environment of inclusion, of equality, of cooperation and collaboration, environmental solidarity on the basis of projects that are developing among the BRICS members and the southern countries with mutual benefit and in an inclusive perception where defense aspects of multilateralism and also the aspirations towards changes, the unfair economic international or economic order that is established today in the world in response to the interests of the imperialist powers on the basis of creating an economic and trade structure of cooperation that takes takes into account the complexities that may exist among the different countries and take advantage of its potentialities and it's a space where president of china xi jinping summoned five initiative related to the development or the building of a global community with shared future a global community of security to share the advancements of science and innovation among other aspects therefore it's an event where we were going to participate at the highest level of our country due to this emergency situation on the electricity supply and the alert of the hurricane we have decided not to participate and stay in the country to face the situation with the uh, head of the government and the uh, authorities of the country to face the s emergency situation on the energy supply and also the recovery of the damages caused by the Hurricane Oscar. But we will be represented by our Minister of Foreign Affairs, Bruno Rodriguez Parrilla. This is an event where we are going to have the possibility to encounter and attend interviews with important leaders at uh, global level, President of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, President and Secretary General of the Communist Party of China, Xi Jinping, and also with leaders of Vietnamese delegation and other countries, including BRICS members. All of these events, I think the uh, important part of them will be carried out and Cuba's participation will have an important impact and will transcend this event. But we wanted to explain to the population the reasons why we are not going to attend this event. We keep fighting, we keep working in addressing these two important situations that cause an exceptional situation in the Cubans, the Cuban people, and we will remain in contact. We were like the Cubans.
our president, Miguel Díaz-Canel, offered statements amid the energy contingency taking place in the country. In his remarks, the president announced and referred to the summit of the BRICS to be held in the Russian city of Kazan, to which Cuba received a special invitation to. However, due to the difficult situation, Cuba will not be able to take part in this important summit, according to the president. This summit that will be attended by key leaders like Chinese President Xi Jinping, Vietnam officials and other political actors, all promoters of multilateralism. This is all for, for the moment. Stay tuned with From the South.